UMBC would take on Maine at the Rack Arena in what would be a thrilling contest in America East play. UMBC got off to a good start. Ball kicked out to Brian Neller on the right wing. He nails the three. UMBC up 5-0 early. But then Maine took over the game on an 11-0 run. Joey Getz gets UMBC back to 18-11 at the midway point of the half. And inside, Chase Plummer scores and gets fouled. Retrievers still down 25-17. Finally, Jamar Wirtz, right before the end of the half, hits a left baseline three. He puts UMBC only down by 13 at the break. UMBC got right back into it in the second half. Joey Getz would score a career-high 16 points. Hits the floating jumper there. That cuts the main lead to six points at 45-39. Then Getz would miss a shot here, but Johnny on the spot to get his own rebound. Banks it in. Now UMBC is within four at 45-41. Then... UMBC playing a five-guard lineup, but Joey Getz crashes the boards, gets a tip in. UMBC now only trailing by two with 9.20 to go. Then Getz on the reverse layup after a steal. He gives UMBC its first lead at 56-54. UMBC would lead from the seven-minute mark on, but Zarko Valarevich hits the three with 6.7 seconds to go. Gives Maine its first lead by two points. UMBC then setting up for a potential game-winning play. 6.7 seconds to go. Let's listen. Again, UMBC's got to take it the length of the floor. Here comes Getz. Getz, crossover against Lawton. Getz, behind the back. Getz to Neller. Neller, tough one. It's gone! It's gone! With .5 to go! <laughs> Got by Neller! So Brian Neller hits the game-winning three to give UMBC the 68-67 victory over the main Black Bears. UMBC's second straight win. And the Retrievers improved to four and five in the conference. Um, I mean, what, what more can I say? That was in my young coaching career. That was the most uh, exciting finish that I've been a part of. Clearly, uh, just big stops, big shots after big shots on both teams' behalf, and obviously, Nellis final shot was just something that I hadn't been a part of from a coaching standpoint to this day. And just it was an amazing feeling. I'm just, you know, I'm really, really elated that we didn't give up in the first half. We were clearly down and, and without, a, without a clue of what we were going to do to try to get back in this game. We came into the locker room instead of, instead of bickering and, and, you know, and pointing fingers. We, we, I saw a bond. I saw a team grow. And, and that's, you know, we, we came out and we executed the game plan and we, we played together. We played smart and we were able to come up with a tremendous victory. But, I mean... <clears throat> I don't really focus on the defenders that much. I mean, I saw I saw the basket, and I kind of just rose up and knocked it down. Uh, well, yesterday me and Coach Ock actually talked, and I, I was just kind of talking to him about playing time because I've struggled through injuries early, and then I was playing, not playing. And I just kind of asked him what I need to do to get on the court, <clears throat> and he said, you just need to be yourself, you need to be aggressive again. So I came off the bench and did what I did.